I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate tangent x, and a lot of people will tell you to write tangent x sine of a cosine, right? You don't really have to do that, check this out. I will actually just keep tangent x right here, but I will multiply the top and bottom by secant x, and you will see this right here is actually going to be really beneficial for the following question. So, you see this right here now, we can actually net u equal to secant x, because this way we get du is just going to be at the root of secant x, which is just secant x times tangent x, and don't forget the dx right here. And have a look right here, this is precisely right here, isn't it? Yes, it is. And now you see this is just the integral of 1 over for u, and then we have the du right here. So the integral of this is just going to be natural log of absolute value of u, u is equal to secant. So I'm just going to put that down right here, and we are done. Put a plus c, that's it. To integrate secant x, you have to let me tell you guys what the secret is. Check this out. I will actually keep the secant x right here, just like earlier, and now I will have to multiply the top and bottom by secant x plus tangent x. This way will give you the standard result, so just do it this way, even though there are other ways to do it, so you can check out my other videos for this, but don't worry about it too much. Right here, this is what we have, and again, I can let u equal to the denominator, which is going to be secant x plus tangent x, and you will see this is going to work out very nicely, because du is just going to be the derivative of secant x, which is just going to be secant x plus times tangent x, and then plus the derivative of tangent x is going to be secant square x, right? And don't forget the dx right here. And now if you multiply out the top, you will see that secant times secant, secant square x, and then this times that is of course plus secant x tangent x. And notice this is that, this is that. So altogether, on the top right here, you actually get precisely the du. So this is actually very nice. Now this right here is just going to be the integral 1 over u, and then this right here is the du. So you can see that it's a similar situation, right? So we have natural log absolute for u, u is equal to secant x plus tangent x and then we are done put a plus d 